Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Life of Wonders. Uh, today I wanted to share with you the review of this beautiful journal from uh, the um, uh, new release uh, by Disney, the Castle Collection. Uh, and this is the first uh, journal that was uh, released like a couple of months ago. I recently uh, reviewed the Frozen Arendelle's Castle one. And I, I thought I would just uh, cover this one right now. Um, so here we can have the, we can see this leaf like sort of, um, it says one out of 10 and limited edition journal. And this is the first one. So Cinderella, I just took it out uh, to, to be able to review the whole thing for you. And, and so you could appreciate it all. It has a marker with a, with a very sparkly, charm uh glossy that is says uh, disney castle collection and then here you can see the interpretation the new interpretation of the classic animated um film uh castle uh, in cinderella so they've created 10 new uh are, are representations of every castle that's going to be released by the castle collection series and this is this is the one from cinderella i find it very cute um it's a bit compact to me as as compared to other uh interpretations but i still like it very much and then you cannot see like this square sort of like chessboard pink and blue uh patterns here but still like it has like a violet sort of um light blue dark navy blue and pink and very pale pink all combined to 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 give you that sort of death and and magic and and then it has some texture to it it's very it's very slight uh it's very subtle but but you can you can see that it has texture a little bit of 3d there and now we're gonna proceed opening well on the back uh it's just silvery navy blue metallic and it has the disney castle collection logo and then when you open you can see that it has this pattern with pumpkins and then it has the shoe and well many many different things for you to to mesmerize us <laughs> And then, as a general thing, it has the um, Cinderella's coach, uh, the pumpkin coach, right uh, in that corner. And then it has this um, castle that represents Cinderella's castle. And I've said this before, this one, uh, well, all of them actually. I mean, this one and the, the Arendelle's castle one. I see it appears inside the journal. It reminds me so much of the merchandise, of the advertisement and memorabilia from the 70s Walt Disney World Resort. Uh, it, it has that sort of like very 70s uh, look. And then here you would have as before, uh, as, as in the previous one, but uh, so if you, if you haven't seen it, uh, it has different uh, scenes from the movie in which you will find the rooms within the castle that are unfurnished or not fully furnished. And then you will add with these translucent pages and then you kind of create that 3D image. And it's kind of fun because uh, it has like four of them or so and so as you're writing down your story uh, as a journal as a, as a i don't know it could be like a script uh whatever you like really then you will find this and it's like a little bit of a break i found very cute that this uh dress around here uh that that's here um reminds me a lot of the um uh, beauty and the beast life action uh dress emma watson is uh, wearing at the end of the movie um, I don't know it has that and also the Cinderella one although this is kind of a cocktail uh, length so it's, it's kind of short and the Cinderella wedding one from the 2015 live action movie I don't know I don't, I don't know how I think that this is kind of a new or probably it was in the second or third movie uh, 
like a uh, wardrobe or, or a walk-in closet um, for Cinderella and by adding that I, I just think <laughs> I just think I don't know it's kind of kind of cute and, and it reminded me of that and then we continue um, and the next scene we find is the the dance uh, so Anastasia and Duzella are presenting to the to the prince to Prince Charming here and uh, Cinderella seems uh, that she just arrived uh, and then again like you won't have anybody in the room and then this is like a magic sort of effect in which you fill the room with the characters and all the surprises <laughs> And then we go on to the next one, which is a castle kitchen. Um, and then here you have to find Goose Goose and Jack. Uh, let's see if you do. <laughs> and it's very cute. Like I, I think again, this has this is not a. I don't know that that will happen with most of the castles. Uh, I guess that we haven't uh, seen um, all of it inside. Uh, but maybe they've created this artwork to for us to enjoy, or maybe we have in the in the second and third movies that have been released um, that I don't quite remember just now. Um, but this is very good. This is the kitchen, and then the next one would be around here, and I think it's my favorite. And this is the well. This is like. A completely empty room and then it's the portrait room and I, and I find this particularly uh, it's my favorite really um, so here you can see uh, Prince Charming and then you can see him playing with the king here and as a baby at the um, uh, king's desk room I guess um, and I think I don't know if that's it no there's one more uh, so there are five here is the moment in which Cinderella is losing her uh, glass shoe and so you would have the empty stir and then you can make uh, you can kind of um, it's kind of magical in a way because it's empty and then it's like the the very <laughs> the very moment in which she loses her shoe, and I think I don't know. I really think that's the the last one. As, yeah, it is. Um, and then here you have again the pattern, and then Disney info around there. And then as a surprise, which I think is very cute that they've, they've included this and I, because otherwise like in the pin or unless you have the puzzle or the jigsaw, it would be difficult to actually appreciate like the, the new art uh, that they've created for inside the castle. So like a sort of a, like a dollhouse scenery. <laughs> and here is the cutout that comes with, with, with the journal that I believe is very very cute and you can appreciate the, the whole castle and then it includes different um, rooms and uh, areas in which you would find like the stairs the ball, the ballroom and then like the main I guess that's the king um, bedroom and then the prince charming bedroom and then the music room, the desk, uh, paint room, the kitchen is over here. There's another kitchen here. I don't know. Uh, here is like, uh, yeah, the balcony, uh, the portrait room that again, I mean, if in the pin, I don't know how you will like, because I'm not getting the, the pins as for now, but in the pins, this is really, really miniature. Uh, but even though this poster is quite big, it's still kind of hard for me to, to spot um, certain things. And then it's very cute that uh, here you have the tower of the clock and the other tower. Oh, there's another room here that I would guess this is like 
from like one of the ones that I haven't shown inside the journal, like the wardrobe. So probably Cinderella's. Um, but I, I, well, um, I will leave it up to you. Like I don't know if if it, uh, she will share a room with with the, with the Prince Charming after they get married, or they will have separate rooms anyway. Um, so I, I found this very, very cute and, and I appreciate this need that they, they would include this, this artwork, um, even if it's just for appreciating it all. And I hope you've enjoyed the review. Uh, so don't forget to like the video, uh, subscribe. There will be many more videos coming up showing lots of Disney limited edition stuff and many more surprises. And I'm incredibly happy to be sharing with you. So have a great time, uh, happy summer and see you very soon.